Hi everyone, welcome to Composition One. I'm Martine Reif, your professor this semester. This is a short video, just a few minutes long, to go over what class is going to be like and just to get to know me a little bit better. Feel free to call and or email me and leave messages anytime. I'm very excited to be the instructor for this class and to meet all of you. I'm going to have my office hours this semester after class from 7 to 8 in our classroom, but I'll provide you with information about my office right now as well. Um, as I do have office hours during the day for my other classes, and um, if you ask me about it, I can share that information with you no problem. Always check the syllabus when you need to know when my office hours are or when where the location is. I also have office hours either in my classroom or in my office on Wednesdays from 4 to 5. And my office location, as I mentioned, is in the Arts and Sciences Building, 2204.24. And to get there, you would need to go to the service desk, which is located at ANS 2105-2203. Um, my office and my classroom, online and face-to-face, -face, are safe zones, and I'm a VetNet ally. My phone number is 517-483-9906. I want to show you here the map of where my office is located. Um, and in, if you're in the HyFlex class, this is, this is campus where our class is located as well. So my office is located in the Arts and Sciences building, which is available, this map is available on LCC's website. And it's the second building on the corner of Capitol Avenue and Shiawassee. So my office is in Arts and Sciences on the second floor. You just go in and the service desk is right outside the elevators. For student resources, I just wanted you to know that my office is in arts and sciences, as I said, but in addition to what you have during class time, there's also other resources available for you to work on your writing. I have links to these resources in class, and I just want to make sure that we can accompany all learning styles and accommodations in this class, so the more you know about your own learning style and can communicate with that with me, I think the more successful you're going to be. And I would like everyone to be really successful in my class. So in addition to um, the class, there's also a free online learning lab that I have linked in the class. There's the LCC Writing Center, the LCC Learning Commons, where you can have tutoring. We have academic success coaches, which can help guide you with time management and such. And we also have counseling services that are free at LCC, and we also have academic advisors. In addition, during the class, I ask you to collaborate occasionally on your writing, and you're welcome to collaborate with peers, um, colleagues, friends, and so on. Also, LCC provides free Microsoft Word to all students, and I have a link for that in the class website and in the syllabus. And then in my class, you are also welcome to responsibly and generatively use any kind of artificial intelligence like Grammarly, um, ChatGPT, Bing, and so on. And I do have a statement on my policy about that in my syllabus, So, but you are welcome to use those resources. The course description for the class is Composition 1 is a study and practice of expository discourse. That's just a fancy way of saying writing, to help students write more effectively. It emphasizes critical thinking, academic source materials, writing processes, content development, structure, style, database research, and documentation. During the semester, we're going to be going over things like free writing, brainstorming, understanding th about what a rough draft is, uh, writing conventions, writing genres and how they work. We will learn about how to improve our ability to give and receive feedback on our writing. We will learn about library research and databases. We'll learn about primary research. We'll learn about triangulating research and working with outside sources and pro properly attributing others' writing to, in our own writing. And we'll learn about literary devices, and I will go over and will, I will remind you about college-provided resources for writing. And these are the outcomes, the learning outcomes, that we're going to be 
working on this semester, which are located in the course syllabus, and I also have these learning outcomes linked to every single one of our assignments. The learning outcomes are in the areas of writing, writing processes, reading, critical thinking, information literacy, and collaboration and discussion. And basically, we'll be doing writing in the class. We'll be learning about the process of writing. We'll be learning about critical thinking, about text, and about our own writing. And we'll be learning about information literacy, including the use of AI, and how to do responsible research and properly cite our sources. And we'll be doing quite a bit of collaboration discussion. And if you're in the high flux class, there will be a lot of opportunities to work in small groups which I encourage you to do. So the materials in the class. I care a lot about accessibility and I care a lot about being flexible as a teacher. So all the materials in the class, you don't have to buy anything. I'm using open educational resources so that everybody can be included and have access on the first day to all of our course materials. Our D2L course site has a lot of extra materials and information as well as more videos of me explaining things in depth or in a different way than might be done in the readings. If you're in the high flex class, the videos also might be going more in depth or cover a broader range of ideas than what I'm able to cover in class. I do use slide presentations in class, and when I do that, I will upload those slides into the course website. And throughout the semester, I also have a few ways for students to share their strategies and ideas with all of us for learning the course materials. Every semester, I learn a lot from the students, and they really appreciate it. So the two textbooks that we're going to use are Writing Spaces. I have the link here, and it's also in the course syllabus. And then the other reading we have is called, the other book we use is called Bad Ideas About Writing, and it's also available for free on the web. Um, LCC does provide print tokens so, for, so that you can do some printing for free on campus if you like. There's also free Microsoft Word for Student. I have a link in the course and in the course syllabus. Computer use is required in the class, but LCC, the LCC library will loan laptops and other technologies to students for extended time periods. So check out the LCC library. Okay, assignments and assessments. Yes, there's assignments and yes, there's assessments. So um, we have four self-assessments. Each of them are worth 10 points for a total of 40 points. We have 11 quizzes during the semester, which is 16 weeks long, for a total of 110 points. We have five discussion boards and proposals um, for a total of 100 points, 20 points each. And then we have 690 points worth of formal papers and writings. And these can vary between 200 and 30 points each. And the points are all designated in more detail in the syllabus, but also in our course website. Then we have three presentations that students do. There's a number of ways to complete these, and they can be recorded and do not have to be done live. The total points available in the course is 1,000 points out of these assignments. So timing and scheduling is important in a class. Attendance is op optional in the High Flex class. In the High Flex class, you have three choices to learn the course material. You can attend class sessions as referenced above, and use the D2L platform to complete all the assignments. Number two is you can work with only the D2L course material and attend no class sessions. Three is you can do a combination of one and two. Class lectures are usually recorded for later viewing and usually unless there's inclement weather or some other technological glitch, which you'd be notified of, they will be live streamed at the time that you signed up for. So you have the option to participate remotely in class sessions. To review recorded class sessions, anyone can view these, you go to D2L under Communications and WebEx. We do have assignments due on Thursdays. In order to be successful in the class, you may choose to simply participate in the course as if it were 100% online. It is not necessary to watch the classroom sessions, but that aspect of the course is an enhancement to the learning experience. So each of you should find a method of participation that works best for your individual life circumstances and learning style. Regardless of how you choose to participate, there will be weekly assignments due on Thursdays. Often, those who attend class sessions will have the opportunity to collaboratively complete said assignments in the classroom space. Assignments are due on Thursdays. Finally, student expectations and responsibilities. So complete each weekly assignment in a timely fashion. 
Reach out if you need assistance. Make sure that you let me know what's going on, if there's something more I can support you with. Or if there is something that I need to know to improve myself as a teacher, I would like to hear that too. Take advantage of all the course material. I want each one of you to be successful. I want all of your learning styles to be honored and accommodated, and so that is what all the class materials are about. Thanks, and happy to meet you.